Hi, my name is Maxime Siré. I'm uh, working for the French Ministry of Transport and I am leading the French National Access Point, uh, which is called transport.data.gov.fr. Um, it's so inside the Ministry of Transport and we are working as a facilitator uh, between and bridging gaps between data producers on one side and data reusers on the other side. So producers can be producers for transit data, chain mobility, bikes, uh, EV stations, and reusers can be uh, researchers, students, small anti uh, companies, to end also at the end big companies, uh, journey planners and so on. And we are in the middle and we are trying to ease access of data on an open way uh, to facilitate innovation and at the end, of course, the use of multi-data uh, globally and especially, of course, for France. For me, one of the challenges that I see, but also because it affects my, my job on a daily basis, is how to make sure that when you navigate around the city, you can find each and every transit option that you have nearby. And we all know that there are a lot of transit data right now around the city, a lot of options. You have bikes, you have scooters, metro, buses, uh, taxi, uh, shared cars, and so on. And so the challenge is how, as professionals, we make sure that citizens have the information that they have the transit data nearby to use and to drive the car and use transit data. And that, I guess there was a lot of work to do on, on that way. And that's one of the challenges I can see right now for our mobility and micro-mobility. Uh, if there is no standard, then there is no harmonization of the data. And if you don't have an harmonization of the data, then you probably generate a lot of chaos, let's say. And that's why you need standards to make sure that people working from many, many different uh, uh, companies and organizations, they align on a specific language and they speak the same language to make standards and data interoperable. And that's what we do at the French NAP. We ensure that data producers produce data in a good way to make sure that when reusers come to us and they want to read a data, it's basically, basically like a book. You know, you, you, you have languages, you have French and English, and if you create a new language, no one will be able to read your book. And that's the same for data. You need to ensure that the language is common, understandable, and maintained. And that's why standards are very crucial to make sure that at the end, we generate solutions that can be readable for everyone and has an impact on our mobility and day-to-day -day life. Yeah, so out of the many standards in the ecosystem, GTFS and GPFS are one of probably the most famous ones for transit data and micromobility. And they're very important because they are easy to use and they are very built for a specific goal which is mainly oriented to journey planners. They are light, they are easy to use, easy to understand, easy to replicate. That's probably what the community likes the most for GTFS and GPFS. It's because it's very easy to understand. So they need to remain, no matter the regulation in Europe and so on. Of course, our regulation is different in Europe. We need to take care of that, of course, essentially. But we still need to remain also with these standards because they are meant by design to solve problems for specific use cases that probably won't be addressed as easy as with these standards if we are using different ones. Yeah, so Mobidata is a key organization because it, let's say, it makes the community alive. And that's very important because uh, there are many people working on his organization and Mobidata crosses, bridges the gaps uh, between them and makes sure that the community shares the same vision and aligns on what should be, for instance, if you want to make an, an improvement on GTFS. Uh, then you can address your vote or your suggestion to, to mobility data and then it will suggest this to the whole ecosystem. That's what works very well uh, in Americas, for instance, 
and that's what we are missing, I, I, I guess, right now in Europe for the EU standards. And I really think that Mobility Data has a role to play here in Europe to make sure that it can cl close and bridges the gaps between each and every expert in Europe that is working, let's say, alone, for instance. And with this community in the middle, you ensure that the vision is shared and we all reach the same uh, goal. And we are, let's say, we empower each other throughout the community and so events like this here in Paris today where we can share and learn from each other. And without these uh, initiatives, then we won't be able to share as easy as today our knowledge and our work together. As a member, I mean, I want to say I, I, I speak for the Ministry of Transport and is, we are a member of Multidata for some time now. And um, we value a lot this membership because, as I said, it enables us to create a lot of relations with the community. And for instance, uh, when we were in Montreal last year, we, Meta, Meta is very important for us because it's easier for us to access a specific partners uh, that are not easily accessible uh, without such events. For instance, we got to to close partnerships with most of the major uh, journey planners uh, in in Europe, thanks to Media Data uh, and thanks to the event they were organizing. For us, it's easier to access such people. And without this, then for us, it's, it's way more complicated to send initiatives to these guys because they are not easily accessible. So you can really uh, accelerates your project with this kind of events and this is for us the value which is more important as being member member of the, the community. Yeah, so my favorite transport modes I would say is bike, is the bike. Um, I love the bike, I, do, I, uh, I use bike for work but also for pleasure for, for my weekend and so on. Why? Because you have a sensation of freedom that you don't you don't feel when being on a bus or on a metro. So for me, uh, bike is freedom. It also being enables you to be outside. Bike for me is the most uh, my, my preferred way of moving around the city, and also for my sports uh, is good. Yeah.